Hello world, I'm a cop. Welcome once again to Round Explorers International Society with the Emperor's Challenge at DLC. Now, this time we are going to... I think we're gonna make a friendly-ish crew with Su Min Zhong as our captain, so all of our lobby students and merchants also upgrade our discoveries. Might not be a very useful skill. We're gonna take Pai Lin because she is a little bit friendly. And we're gonna take Hojo, because Hojo is also a little bit friendly compared to you here, who is not friendly at all. So let's focus on uh, being a, a little bit more friendly this time. I don't think... Yeah, cause one thing like we haven't done is a devious team with any of these... Uh, you know what, let's just reroll everyone, because for some reason it can't really unpick. But none of these... Actually, you know what, let's just go back to... Back to menu. Because... Yeah, so Su here has, or, or Min Zhang here has, a little bit of Devious, and Wang has a little bit of Devious, but uh, yeah, that only means we could get double Devious and then would have to be something else, and yeah, neither one of Well, you affect Devious a bit. What are your skills, by the way? You do have Try to Enrage. You know, Hojo's been with us on every team until now, so maybe we'll actually do this team now. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this team. Good looking team there. I mean, it's always a good looking team. The Saxon Kings. Uh, this is it. You just got your Nance Explorers International Society membership. Min Zhang wants to make a big entrance. Finding the burial site of Saxon Kings. Found somewhere on the mainland of Britain, but King Egbert's grave remains a particular mystery. So, time for adventure! Okay, there is the thing. Uh, so, crew can be improved here. Uh, yeah, let's go here, improve the crew. Two people are having a heated discussion as you walk by. One of them yells at you. Hey, you! Hey, yeah, you! We need your opinion on something! We're discussing what's the best way to solve problems. I'm convinced that using speech will solve any problem you encounter, but this guy here thinks that using physical attacks is the way to go. What do you think? If you choose me, I will teach one of you how to use speech more effectively on this island. If you choose him, he will do the same for attack. We're gonna choose speech. Excellent choice. Speech is always the better option. I will teach one of you how to use speech more effectively on this island. Remember, these secrets only have effect on this expedition. So who needs more speech power? Uh, I think it's gonna be Pylin. Pylin's gonna get more speech. Pilin learns about the history and customs of this island, which will be very useful during challenges on this expedition. They will be useless on other expeditions, though. Your crew is ready to continue. Okay, we'll go here. Ooh, zero cost move. I love zero cost moves. A farmer is moving some of his harvest to the local market, but his wheel has gotten stuck in the mud. He's asking for your help, so we could help the farmer, or we could take some of his harvest and run, or we punch him and take some, you know. Since we're trying to play a devious team, let's just take some of his harvest and run. You mock the farmer, take some of his harvest, and leave. <laughs> the farmer is left behind with tears in his eyes. Ooh, there's something uh, extraordinary over there. Uh, but we want to go there for sure. So seriously, this zero-cost move doesn't really give us any extra here. Because we want to go here, so... Either we go here from here, or we go there from here, and you know, then we have to come back. So it's two moves. Anyway, so we'll just go here, straight up. You see a giant tunnel entrance in the side of a hill. You decide to take some torches and explore it. Continue exploring. You walk for a few minutes until you notice a giant machine standing inside the tunnel. It seems to be some sort of a machine drill, powered by steam. The machine seems to be a prototype and it's broken, but contains some cutting edge technology that can be harvested. Uh, well, we're gonna gain the steam engineer perk from that. Okay, so we are probably want it for you then. Yeah. Because even if we fail, we get it, like, failing or not failing, it doesn't matter here that much. If we don't, like, if we succeed, we just get some extra, which we didn't. The crew watches in awe how you studies every single part of the steam drill, removing every part and putting it back again. After hours and hours spent on drill, you becomes an expert in steam engine. Unfortunately, everything you has learned is not cutting edge. So, got us another engineer skill here. So I think uh, last time when we played with you, we made him more of a tactician. So this time we're just gonna focus on engineering. And with Pai Lin, we're... Oh, she's also engineering. Well, then she's gonna focus on being Beguiler once more. Okay, let's go here. 
the crew suddenly gets ambushed by some aggressive looking men. This foreign fancy person can take all our jobs! Attack! They're charging! But you is tactically prepared. So, ooh. They want us to be aggressive to get another encounter token. Well, I think we can do that. We should probably start with being devious, though. Uh, giving it one speech, giving it negative armor. Okay. The reason we want to start with being devious is we probably can't get rid of these guys in one turn. Nope. So, yeah. We'll enrage them as much as we can. Just to get this provocative thing going on. Uh, right. Try to enrage has range of 2, right? Yes, it has range of 2. So we'll enrage this fellow here. Oh no! Fumble! Damn it. Well, Minjong, you come here and smack this dude with your... Oh, you only got an 80% chance to hit. Well, you did hit so good. Right, okay. I mean, we're not gonna die here. There's like, or we're not gonna lose any resolve here because even if they tag team us, they can't kill any of our guys in one turn. Oh, actually, they probably could kill Piling if they tag teamed. Uh, well, that's not good, Piling. I kind of think I need you to run away. Yeah, run here. Try to enrage this fellow. Okay, good job. Then... Minjong, you try to hit him with your umbrella. Good. And you got some range, so he can hit this guy with his explosives from where he is. Come on, you just throw your explosives over there. Let's... Cause a little bit of a ruckus over here. And yep, there's like... Mm, this is... We'll just have you finish this guy off and that'll be that. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Got the extra token and... Uh, Ming Jump became a bit more badass for this. With the situation solved, the crew can continue exploring. Piling is baffled by the fact that these men thought that shepherding or mining was of any interest to you. Oh, we also got campfire story time. So, but first of all, we're gonna give you here a level, which is the tinkering. Yep. Unlock that. Hmm. Yeah, that gives speech defense. We're probably gonna need more speech defense if we're gonna try to be devious. Uh, yeah, the campfire story. Pick a campfire story. Bureaucrat brawl. Minjong's orderly way is causing some friction within the crew. Organize again. Plus one status from studying every time Minjong succeeds in archaeologist or diplomat challenge. Oh, you have both those things. Right. Well, we'll do this. Click again. To relax a bit on this crazy expedition, Piling cooks a meal for everyone. Minjong takes a small bite and si sighs a little displeased. What's wrong? The meal is missing some seasoning for Minjong's taste. Piling passes the salt and Minjong is pleased. The meal is already a lot better. Thank goodness, it's not the first time Min Zhuang has wanted something to be done in a specific way. However, it's, it still could use some more... It's passable, but Min Zhuang asks Piling to try a little harder next time. Piling is baffled. Uh, I mean, she just sees clearly talking to Piling will pick the Piling option here. How coarse! Piling won't accept this behavior. Piling seizes Min Zhuang's place and tells her to go sleep without food. Min Zhuang is scared by Piling, while Piling is angry with Min Zhuang's dominant demeanor. A small girl showing attitude. This can't go well. So, did we... Get something to start. We already did. Okay, so what's the wary of Min Zhong? Yes, princess. Plus five percent attack power. Plus five armor. Something is not right here. Plus five speech defense. Okay, doesn't sound like the best option available. Okay, we got supplies here, so we want to go this place and then here. So we'll go for the supplies, then we'll come around here, come here, and then to the finish line. Normally you'd be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. You take some time to restock your supplies. Okay, so we got seven. Uh, I'm feeling like this is empty. That will probably f that's probably the hidden hoard, because I feel like it's always like there's only one empty on the first island. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty
three, four, five, six. I think we can go and see if this is the hidden hoard. It is the hidden hoard. Okay. Well done, you found the hidden hoard in this expedition. On every expedition, there's a hidden hoard to be found. On this exchange, fate smiles upon your crew. The crew finds a significant discovery. Of course, for some extra research. I'm gonna head here. It's raining quite hard while you're walking between two hills. Suddenly, you hear a great rumble. A landslide is in motion. Get out of the way! You get out in time. The landslide has laid bare a large part of the hill. You can easily spot a few places where valuable minerals can be mined. Uh... Man, I'd really like to go back. No, we're gonna leave those minerals be. One, two, three. Like one, two, three, four. Oh, we could have mined those minerals. Damn it. You walk down a small path when you hear shouting and screaming coming away. Two thieves are running from an angry mob. Since you are blocking the path, one of the thieves asks, Please, traveler, we have no time for you right now. If you let us through, we will give you some compensation. I think we are going to stop them. You cannot be bribed. Stop the thieves. Stand your ground. Okay. Oh, we gotta be aggro again. Uh, that's unfortunate. The fact that we have we have to be this aggro probably means that in the end we're gonna have to fight Tommy. And uh, we're really not a very aggro team. Okay, so... You are easily enraged, so if we enrage you... Actually, let's have Pylin try to enrage you. Okay, torn it and ruffled. And then... Min Zhang, come here. Okay, you cannot finish that guy, so actually don't come there. Uh, oh, you already have the fireworks! Nice! We'll throw some fireworks at these guys. And then we'll have Min Zhang come here and hit this guy. Because. Uh, well, even if this guy hadn't been finished. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do some coping right now. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, right. Even if this guy hadn't been uh, uh, finished by Min Zhang. Because they're uh, aggroing against you. He couldn't have. Well, actually, is there. Oh, there. That actually might be an adjacent square. I'm not 100% sure. Well, if it. If it isn't, then the guy couldn't have attacked you from this spot, so he'd have to run all the way around here anyways. So, let's see. Let's see if these are adjacent squares or not. Okay, they are adjacent. They're not squares, they're hexes. Yeah, it was an adjacent hex. Okay, uh... Okay, uh... Yeah, Pylin enraged him some more. Good, because enraged decrease his armor, so then we'll do more damage when we actually attack him. Okay. Good. And who gets the bonus? Pylin. Okay, nice. Who Pylin also got? Oh, Min Zhang got level 2. The angry mob finally catch up the thieves and see that you already took care of them. The mob thanks you and everybody knows about your good deed. Great. Continue. So Pylin, yeah, we're gonna keep you taking this and you'll get your war dance. Hmm, which isn't that useful for this team. And uh, Min Zhang, I think we're gonna make you into a, as big of an archaeologist as we can. So you get the cute stare. Silence all targets for one turn if one of the targets is excited. Oh, and we got Pylin with excite. So we can first excite with her, and then we can use her cute stare and silence all the enemies. A group of sheep is fighting to eat from a slightly greener patch of grass. It might be interesting to study this peculiar patch of grass. Let's go! You approach the patch of grass, but the sheep see us competition and start attacking you. Show your worth! Okay, we can do this friendly or devious. That's fine, so... Oh, 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 wait. These sheep aren't easily excited. Interesting. Sheep usually are. Okay, Min... Okay, we can min... run Min Zhang here. We can cute stare. Two sheep. Hmm. Uh, Pylin. Come here. Oh! Uh, if you can already get rid of one... Oh, you can get rid of two... We'll just... Okay. Oh, should have... Undo... Undone... 
Highlands movement because I don't think she can hit anything from here. Well, she can try to enrage. Let's do that. Okay. Good job. And then we'll have you here enrage this last ship. Why are you... You're calling him a dot. I think that's what that was supposed to be. Okay, broke our opponent's mind and you get some more grit and speech power. You've successfully calmed down the ship and can finally take a look at the grass. After careful examination and some tests, it seems the grass contains some special nutrients that attract the sheep. You take some with you for their scientific value. Great, continue. So, three more. So, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll go here for this possible status. You descend a hill and walk past a magnificent grave. You read the stone. Here lies Bernwolf of Mercia, King of Mercia. Under his reign, the Abbey of St. Peter was rebuilt. Bernwolf met his end at the hands of King Egbert's army in 826 AD. May St. Peter watch over his soul. The grave of an old king, always an honor. Okay, then here for possible treasure. Saxon Monastery. Halfway up a small mountain, the crew finds an old ruinous Saxon monastery. Many of the Saxon structures were made from wood and did not stand the test of time. A stone building such as this is a treasure itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit in your backpack. <laughs> Explore the monastery. As you approach the monastery, a strange-looking hooded man is standing in front of the monastery. Well, hello there, travelers. Welcome to this old Saxon monastery. I come here once a year to make some minor repairs and clean the place up a bit. It would be a shame if such a nice place went to waste. Keep listening. Saxon men used to come here and test their skills. Uh, the most skillful would be rewarded by Tyr, the god of war. All that's left now is the heavy statue of Tyr that warriors would push and feel like a Saxon knight. And a trial in the monastery's basement that would test agility and attract noblemen with petty, pretty rings. If you would like to test yourself, go ahead. Your performance might earn something. Uh, okay, let's push the heavy statue of Steer. Uh, okay, reconsider. Go to the monastery's basement. Reconsider. Okay, uh... <laughs> intimidate the hooded man, demand treasure. <laughs> uh... Should we do that? Yeah, let's see what that does. You intimidate the odd-looking man in the treasure. Whoa! That ferocity! That anger! So intimidating! Chia would most certainly like that. Although he likes this, says more. Show me your worth! And the ma man walks into the monastery. The man walks out with a Nordic bracelet. A strange treasure to receive in a Saxon monastery. Chia was rewarded you, and I wish you the best in travel. Has rewarded, not was. Take it and leave the monastery. A Nordic bracelet. So a centerpiece in Lost Viking treasure. Five campaign would be... Like 50 status. What's the secret? Ah. No, let's see. Is the secret worth more? It is. Good. You thank the old man and leave the monastery behind you, carrying the new treasure with you. Great. Okay, and then we'll head to the end here. The burial site of the Saxon kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. Onwards! The crew searches through the hills and quickly finds what they were looking for. The Saxon burial site. One of the tombs is of King Egbert, a particularly mysterious figure. Finding its secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation and the renowned exposed. However, you hear a familiar laughter. Behind you stands the French explorer Rivolo, who is conjured to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. He speaks, Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need to excavate King Egbert's tomb to gain another honorary title. Explain how you worked hard for this treasure. Rivolo continues you. It seems my explanation wasn't clear enough. Maybe my strong friend Tommy can explain the situation better. While I plunder King Egbert's too. Hey, wait a minute! Before Ming Zhong can stop Rivolo, his crew fighter Tommy steps forward. Now all little explorers, beat it. He's not letting you pass! So, the pr yeah, the problem here is that with Tommy, we really need to be aggressive. We can't be devious. So... Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, you guys are easily saddened. That's fun. Are you... Oh, my cute stare can get rid of you as well, so... What about Pylin's war dance? That can do it too. Okay, so... Right, uh, you come here. Pylin, do the war dance. Now, we're gonna be friendly here for a little while, but uh, since no one can get to attack us, that is fine. We're gonna use the cute stair to get rid of these two. 
Right, and the rest of this we have to deal with aggressively. Like, we're gonna make Tommy enraged. For sure. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Ooh, he's easily saddened. Maybe we should sadden him a bit as well. Hmm. Should we run backwards still a little bit? Okay, yeah, Minjong, you run here. Let's see how far they can get. Okay, they can get here. So if we have you come here. Right, now they can't get to us and they need to come closer for us. Okay, we're gonna excite uh, Minjong. We're gonna excite Pailin. Make absolutely sure we all got some pluses going on. And we're gonna wait for these guys to come here. Okay, now. What we're gonna do is, yeah, we're gonna try to in... No, not, not that. We're gonna sadden him. Ooh! Ah, this... Hmm. Because that does so much damage. There's a really good possibility that, uh... We'll end up killing him if we... Okay, we'll just... We'll do the Enrage. And we'll see... Okay, this won't end up killing him. But we also kinda don't want to... Uh... Now we'll do this. Yeah, we don't want to... Ended while we were in the devious mood, and I'm not sure how many aggressive. Like we already have very many friendly points here, and now, oh, we have a lot of aggressive points. Okay, we so we probably could have just done it so that we sat in him and then finished him off with one aggro move, and that would have probably been good enough. But I think we can still finish him next turn while being aggressive here, because this guy is gonna try to get to you, so he can't attack uh, Minjong. Uh, Tommy's gonna attack you, so he can't attack Minjong. This guy might attack Minjong, but that uh, shouldn't really be a problem. Tommy, you're not really even that strong. Wait! Wait, what? Wait, how? Okay, so pulling aggro isn't quite as powerful as I thought it was. I really thought that in this situation, when he can't get to you, he'd have to go running around. Oh, well. Well, you you come here because you have range. Pile in, come here. Hit Tommy. Oh, you actually finished him off. Okay, good job. Tommy is impressed by our skill. Tommy is pretty impressed. Wow, you're pretty strong. If you can take on the mighty Tommy gun. Take some gold and this checklist. It describes treasure we want to find here. I guess you've beat us to it. You deserve one as well. And he leaves to follow Rivolo, who has already plundered King Egbert's tomb and left. We're a band of mighty warriors. Huzzah! And our attack is increased by one, which isn't really what we want for this team, but it's fine. The crew quickly turns to the mysterious checklist you got from in the encounter. It seems to be some sort of agenda or scheme. Minjan takes it and reads it out loud. Treasure still to grab, the one hidden in the tomb of the Forgotten King, the one treasure held by the locals, the one in the cache near the dangerous cliffs, a due date today. It's really some rulers are going to nab some more treasure. You might be able to get one before him. Which treasure are you going to get? So, let's investigate the doom and try to convince the locals. Uh, I mean, I think this is... Okay, there's a 100% chance for a lot of uh, study. 100% chance for a lot of campaigns. And... Uh, no 100% chance here. So, okay, so I think we'll take the study. I like to get research in the early point, points of the game. So, yeah, we'll have Bin Zhang lead the investigation. Searching the other tombs before Rivalo comes back was a great idea. Investigating the other tombs around yields some knowledge and you find the mentioned treasure. Amazing! And we've got the Heliodor. Uh, a beautiful, flawless gem and rare find. So, we could get more status and research from secrets, or we could get more research from studies. Uh, so at this point, this would mean like 0 to 12 studies. Uh, this would mean 6 to 10 research. Uh, and a li little bit of status, which, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we'll take this. 
With this last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to learn, want to be the most renowned explorer, you'll have to beat Rivalo. Now it's personal. Okay, we're aggressive. <laughs> not what we wanna be, but <laughs> it's not such a big deal. A magnificent job. The board of renowned explorers international society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Ping you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. We know the drill, Pinkerton. Let's hurry. Okay. Got that. So. And as per usual, I want to go to this as soon as possible to make it so that every future exploration is better. Uh, okay, what do we need? A little bit more research, so... Right, we'll take... No, let's check the specialists first. Uh, what about here? Mm. Ah, cause I'm not really sure if we actually manage to do consistently in any of these uh, attitudes. So I don't think we're gonna start with any of these guys. And we have like Rogue, Beguila, Naturalist. I mean, piling, getting more Beguila for her would just be a good thing. Thing, I think so. Yeah, we'll take Bobo and pile in. You will learn sense of humor because what you had storytelling here, yes. Okay, and yeah, we'll get more campaign when you succeed on things. Uh, for the helpers, yeah, we'll take the student, and that's all we got money for or camp that uh, that is a status for. Uh, Lobby students and merchants. Right, well, we're gonna have to use some of our insight to get some research. I use both of these two. Then we'll grab this. Uh, we don't need to buy anything right now because there's really no need in the. Like, you can do the second expedition without any stuff quite easily. Uh, we can get a merchant. Sure, let's take one merchant. And then uh, let's choose our expedition. I think we're gonna go for the Hungarian Fall this time. But that will be in the next episode because we're gonna end at this one here. Amokhap is being run Explorers International Society with the Emperor's Challenge DLC. Goodbye world, thanks for watching. See you next time.